ಬಿಡಿಸಾಕ್ತಾ we found out in what state of breathing the cellular rejuvenation happens at its highest there is right now a whole new subject evolving called neuroplasticity in 24 hours time we can rewire your brain completely the gray matter can increase and decrease in different areas of the brain simply by doing these things in a matter of days or weeks university of california made studies on this and now they're saying the neuronal regeneration in the brain is 241% higher than normal if you're doing this practice for over 3 months in the yogic system in the system that's been written down we talk about five layers of body five sheets of body these are called annamaya kosha manomaya kosha pranamaya kosha vigyanamaya kosha and anandamaya kosha anna means the food that you've eaten the physical body that you carry is just a heap of food what you've eaten or it's a piece of this planet it is taking on this kind of form because of a certain software which is already within you you can call it genetics you can call it karmic you can call it so many things but essentially it's information a certain memory shapes this particular body in a particular way why eating the same potato your nose became like this and somebody's nose became like that is simply because of the type of information that's embedded in that person so physical body is essentially an accumulation of food we we never refer to the mind as mind the yogic system is always looked at it as a mental body because there is intelligence in every cell of your body there is memory in every cell of your body it is a combination of memory and intelligence which you are referring to as my mind isn't it we know today by checking the dna of a person it's absolutely unique there isn't another one like that so there is information a very specific information concerned with that person now this information can be altered can be evolved can be made use of information does not mean it is a deciding factor information means it is an enabling factor isn't it but because people have lost the ability to enable their information into a new possibility it has become a deciding factor now so whatever your genetics are whatever your karmic information is this is information if you know how to use it it has a phenomenal possibility if you do not know how to use it it becomes a static cycle creating itself in a certain way so this is your hardware that is your software but these two things cannot do anything by themselves unless you plug it into quality power so the third layer of the body is pranamaya kosha this is the energy body these three are physical in nature when i say physical in nature it is very clear that this light bulb is physical but the electricity behind it is also physical the light that is emanating from it is also physical it is getting subtle but still physical so these three are physical in nature the physical body the mental body and the energy body all three are physical in nature the fourth dimension is referred to as vigyanamaya kosha vigyan essentially comes from vishesh gyan vishesh means an extraordinary knowledge knowledge that you can grasp through five senses is considered ordinary knowledge that which you cannot grasp through the five senses but has been grasped in some other way is referred to as vishesh gyan which together becomes vigyan so this is vigyanamaya kosha this is a transitory body between the physical and the non physical it is a body of transition the fifth one is a completely non physical dimension this we call as anandamaya kosha which means bliss body this does not mean a bubble of bliss is sitting inside of you you know it is not it is just that it is non physical in nature that which is not physical in nature you can neither define nor describe the nature of what it is because it's not physical so we talk about it in terms of our experience whenever we touch it we become blissful so we are calling it bliss body it's like if somebody is sweet, sweet to you you call them honey this doesn't mean they're dripping like that we are calling this 
non-physical dimension within us as bliss body, that is not the nature of it, but that is our experience of it. Whenever we touch it, we become blissful, so we are calling it bliss body. If you bring sufficient balance into your pranamaya kosha or the energy body and keep it in full vibrance, your physical body and psychological body or the mental body, there can be no ill health in it. I can show you hundreds and thousands of people who walked away from their chronic ailments simply by bringing a certain balance to their inner system. For example, the basic practice we are teaching as a part of uh, Inner Engineering, the Shambhavi Mahamudra. The University of California did a study, an extensive study on this, and they found those who are doing Shambhavi for more than three months, the neuronal regeneration in the brain is two hundred and forty-one percent higher than the average. It is the highest recorded ever, just because of a certain pattern of breathing. So breath is life, isn't it? If I take away your breath, you're finished. Something so vital, it is not just about breathing more oxygen, there's a lot more to it. There's a whole science attached to it. It is… Uh, it's very unfortunate, these are things we have always known. But the yoga, even the yoga that you see in the country is rebound from the American coast. Lot of people believe Madonna invented yoga. What can I say, if you turn on your TV, there is Zumba and there is insanity. Yes, it is insanity, I can understand. These are all exercise systems today, going crazy, viral on the televisions and other places. In the yogic system, we found out in what state of breathing, the cellular rejuvenation happens at its highest. If you breathe in a certain way, your cellular rejuvenation will be highest. Uh, I don't know if I should… This is a quackery, a little bit of quackery, but you know, sir, about two years ago, I happened to be in Germany. This is a qualified doctor who's turned into alternative systems and uh, a, a friend took me there and I just happened to go there. And there was a big storm, we couldn't get away from him. There was a snowstorm, so I had to stay with him for the night. And he said he wants to check my cellular age. I walked into his uh, laboratory, all kinds of weird machines and computers and stuff, stacked up computers. I said, <laughs> I don't want anything checked, I'm fine. But he said, no, no, we have to check you. And he checked, I don't know what it is, he took my blood samples, he this, that and everything and he put me on all kinds of machines and he said, my cellular age is twenty-five. I said, well, I feel that way, I don't know about myself, <laughs> at least I feel that way <laughs>